Hey, what it do, YouTube family? It's your boy Wolfie here, back listening? again with a new team on FM17. That rhymes. Oh, <coughs> bars. No, I stop. Listen, let me just break it down for those that were fans of the previous series. Now, reviving the foxes just didn't have enough legs in it to continue on. I've been doing YouTube long enough to know when to end a series or when to continue it. And reviving the foxes was definitely running out of steam, and we didn't have enough coal. To, to keep the fire burning so with that being said I took myself as a creative decision to stop the series and I felt like when I started uploading reviving the foxes it was due it, it, it was popular and it was fun and it was interesting due to the fact that at that time Leicester City were in a bit of a slump um, almost you know in the relegation zone and I think people especially Leicester City fans FM fans wanted to see someone bring Leicester from the depth of hell they were entering back to the gates of heaven which they were in last season when they won the Premier League now obviously Leicester real life are kind of back to not winning ways or, or where they were before but we're starting to see signs of what they were producing last season throughout the whole season and now I think people are kind of like, well, well, no, nah, you're not really reviving them because they've already flipping revived in real life. Hey, bit, bit boring now. So I, I, and I'm finding it a bit boring myself because the, the job is done in real life, if, if you will. So as I said, from a creative standpoint, I've decided to just stop the series, and I've moved on, and I've picked a team that is dearly close to my heart on FM. That is, um, however, if I was, a, if I was gonna choose a side of of Milan. It would have to be Inter. I just have a connection with Inter from FM, and through FM, I've kind of you know, not I don't I I never use the word support, but I've been you know someone who kind of keeps an eye on Inter Milan. Uh, I want to see where they go, and really and truly, they're not going anywhere. Like that, just the deep, they, it's just facts in it. They're just not going anywhere. These Mar truckers are still in the same spot as like seven seasons ago and that season i'm talking about 2010 was when Jose Mourinho won them the champions league how and when and what demonic juju they did to win that is beyond me but they won the champions league one of jose's greatest accomplishments uh because obviously still back then inter milan weren't as great as they once were and um it's, it's one of those things man i mean i'm going to talk on for a bit so you know if you want to just play fm or do something in in, in in the background whatever leave me on in the background that's what i should have said feel free to but it's one of them things where when you think about football you think about ac milan you think about juventus you think about roma and then you also think about inter milan and all four of those teams obviously come from italy and that's just facts man whenever someone talks about football you you automatically think of those four teams you have to along with your liverpools your chelsea's your, your, your man united's um Real Madrid, Barcelona, teams that have made an impact on football are the teams you think about. Inter Milan had an impact on football. Juventus had an impact on football. AC Roma all had impacts, an impact on football. We see some great players come from you know Inter Milan and AC Milan, such as uh, Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Um, you know we've seen great players in Italy play like uh, Ronaldo, uh, Ronaldinho, Robinho. Um, players like that have graced pitches on Italy and, and, and they've, they've, they've all played for teams like Inter and AC Milan um, so with that being said man I mean I'm just looking looking to, to bring Inter back to their glory days um, I don't know whether this series how long this is going to go on for I don't know if people are going to find it interesting after a, a certain amount of time but I, as I said I do have a strange weird connection with Inter on FM that is and that's just due to the fact that I had a fantastic save with them off camera in FM14. I remember the day that game dropped on my laptop. I was all up in Inter Milan. Pause. Actually, no pause because I changed Inter Milan for the better, man. Back to back Serie A wins, back to back TIM Cup wins, and a Champions League win to top it off, man. I did work with Inter Milan and I'm hoping to do the same again here with the Jets. We just got to move straight onto the trophy cabinet. I mean, let me mention this, yeah. I think it's 33 or 32, but Juventus have won 32 or 33 City R titles. Ah, oh, cuz they ain't playing. But anyway, we won the uh, we won the Champions League. Obviously, the last time we won it was in 2010. Uh, but we won the Champions League in 96, uh, 1964, sorry, 65 and 2010. That gap was a bit long. 
That's what she said. Not really. 18 Serie A titles in 1910, 20, 30, 38, 40, 53, 54, 63, 65, 66, 71, 80, 89. And then they didn't win anything through my young days because I was born in 93. Uh, 2006, 7, 8, 9, 10. And 10 is the last time uh, Inter had their, their best days, man. Um, since then, we've not seen the same Inter Milan we've known and loved, man. It's, it's a bit sad. It's a bit demoralizing. Anyway, we've got the FIFA World Cup. I don't, I'm Club World Cup, that is. Uh, we won that once. I don't even think anybody really cared about that, but that was in 2010. They won the Europa League in 91, 94, hey, I was one years old, 98, <laughs> and then they won the Intercontinental Cup twice in 64 and 65, the TIM Cup seven times, must have been 2010, yeah, 2010 was their best season, uh, well, one of their best seasons, uh, 39, 78, 82, 2005, 6, 10, and 11, and the Super Copa. TIM Cup, they won that in 89, 2005, 6, 8, and 10. Yeah, as I said, man, 10 was the, like, full stop in the progression of Inter Milan, man. The full stop of Inter Milan's dominant period and, and just the, the, the downfall of Inter Milan period, man. We ain't seen the same Inter Milan we've known and loved, man. It's, it's a bit sad, as I said, a bit demoralizing, a bit heartbreaking, but that's why you hit your boys here. I mean, I know I kind of fucked up a little bit with, with, with Leicester City, but don't, just don't worry about that. Just let that one slide out of your memory. <coughs> just, just please, because please. Obviously, your boy had to bring in his own coaching staff, his scouting staff, and his medical staff. I'm going to put a picture up now. <laughs> when I said now, because that's the power of edit, you know? I'm going to put... There should be a picture up on your screen, and it should showcase how the the staff looked before I slid in up in the mix. Now, the, the, the picture should be gone. Okay, the editing, again, will do that, okay? Um, now, this is how it looks. I mean... We, we, got, we got the best goalkeeping coaches, we got the best defensive defensive coaches, we got the best attacking coaches, uh, and then we've got the best technical coaching, and then we've got the best uh, tactical coaching, which is good. Tactical coaching, especially in Italy, is good, so I'm happy about that. We've got the best physio team in Syria, um, as you can see, the worst, worst is AC Milan, our rivals, that's good, <laughs> that's real good. Scouting team, I ain't gonna lie, I put a lot of work into the scouting team and how we ain't top of the list is beyond me. I'll show you this. Look at the scouting team. Look. Look. All yellows and them shit still ain't enough to get me to the top of the shits. How? <laughs> how? Who mans? Who, who really on top? Let me see. It's Juventus in it. Oh, yeah, it is. But yeah, man, I mean, 17, 18s, 20s across the border and we still ain't top of the mix. It, do it doesn't. Look. Look, what Juventus have that I don't have? I need to find that out, man. That's ridiculous. That's not even, that's not fair. It's not fair. It's not. I'm not having that. Grr, angry. So this is the tactic that we be rolling with for the rest of the season. It is a 4-2-3-1. However, this actually works excellent with this Inter Milan side. We've got the fullbacks on attack. We've got the two central defenders. We've got ball winning midfielder to hold up the ball, win the ball back in the middle of the field. Kind of like the real heart. I mean, the rowing playmaker is the heart of the team, but I feel like the ball winning midfielder is crucial within this tactic because you kind of need someone that's like, like stability. Um, you need someone with the strength. You need someone with the composure as well. And that's kind of what you get with the ball winning midfielder. You do get a bit of the Roman playmaker, but that's what the Roman playmaker is it's in the name. Roman. This bitch move left and right, up and down. <laughs> Whereas the ball winning midfielder, I'm hoping he just stays in midfield, like in between the attack and the defense. And just, he's just, I wish you could, I'm going to get, listen, webcam, face cam coming soon. But I wish you could see, I did, I just did that muscle, like, like say, my name, Mark Henry. Anyway, then we've got the two inside forwards. I, however, haven't got that many instructions on them. Usually, I have a whole bunch of instructions. All I've got this time is shoot more. So, you know how I usually keep my inside forwards in a little bit? So, I, I like to overlap with the, uh, the fullbacks. I ain't doing that this time, man. We're just going to let the team flow off of the team instructions. That's why they're there. And I'm going to kind of focus less on personal individual instructions and more on what the team is told to do as a whole. I'm using an advanced playmaker. Um, you, for, for a certain player and then we've got complete forward as well up the top so the team instructions is, are as follow we've got higher tempo um, we're playing balanced 
width of, of football slightly higher defensive line i don't know how that's going to work obviously being in italy they kind of sit back a lot more um they kind of use you know more defenders at the back the, i mean when listen a quote from my boy dr benji Do, dr benji if you're watching this i'm quoting you now because i said so so he said and it's your facts when an Italian team goes defensive, it's a wrap. He didn't say it like that, but I'm just customising the shit. When an Italian team goes defensive, it's done. Like, it's a lock-off. Like, you can't do nothing. You're stuck. The bus ain't even parked, bro. Them mud truckers parked the bus, popped the tyres, took them shits off, walked off, threw them in the seat, came back to the bus, smashed the windows, elbow dropped the engine, and then spat on the logo to shine it just 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 because they could no bro anyway as i was saying use offside trap there we go closing down much more we've got prevent short goalkeeper distribution use title marking pause uh, then we've got be more expressive mix passing pass into space pass out of the fence look for the overlap yeah this one here is a bit damn yeah. well i just I don't know what that is, but it's eh. I'm I'm still on and off whether I want my fullbacks to overlap, but we've had a fantastic preseason, so I'm gonna keep it as it is and see how it works within the league because obviously preseason sells dreams. Uh, when you get to the league, that's where everything kind of hits the fan. And we're always gonna work the ball into the box as well. We're gonna run out the fence and roam from positions. A lot of creativity within this tactic, which is why because I've got so many. Because I've allowed the team basically to just play football. It literally, for me, this tactic is like, bros, just play football. Just have fun. Follow what I said, but have fun. And then for me to kind of be like, yeah, have fun, but individually make sure you do this, make sure you do this, make sure it just can... That's what I think I had wrong with Leicester, man. Every sh it just clashes. And when you have that, you get confusion, you get um, disobedience, and it it's not what I'm looking for. So I'm going to... I'm leave this as I said preseason has been absolutely tanta fantastic so I'm gonna leave this like this and hope for the best moving forward back again to the staff listen I just want to mention if y'all want me to do like an individual like video on the staff and how I get staff and all that because I always mention that I've got new staff but I never really go in depth with the shits like I never go in detail like I never talk about how I find my staff and what I do and what I look for. So if you guys are like seriously interested in that, then leave some comments down below in the comment section and I'll read it. And if I get over like five people saying, yeah, I want to see the shits, then I'll do the shits at the end of season one. Shit. We're about to do this live, real like live, like now. I'm about to get rid of so many shit. Listen, okay. AC Prato. Uh, <laughs> black on yourself goodbye because you, you gone. Uh, Academia Pavazi. Uh, my boys, peace. I ain't gonna try and pronounce that. You you gone just for that? Just cause just because I can't say your name, you're gone. Armando Picci or Picky it probably is. Um, I mean I'm never gonna use these affiliates. So why are you here? Okay, why? Aveline, I'm gonna keep Aveline though, um, because I remember seeing there was uh, quite a popular series someone did back in FM16 for this team. So I'm gonna keep him here just because I'm putting that respect on your name. Uh, Bastia Umbra. Okay, bye. Bresso. Okay, bye. Bamarama. These lots said Bumba Mara. I'm sleek, huh? Just for your name, actually, to be fair, nah, that's, that's Avelina. That's Avelina. I mean, there's no point in sending my players to teams like this where their facilities and all them, them that, that I was about to say, shit, so just shit. yeah, basically, every, every all their facilities are shit. and they're not even in the professional status. So, like, for me, it's like, what's the point in sending your players to a play like to 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 what is to kind of what you have a dustbin like there's no point there's no there is no point so i'm gonna get rid of all these affiliates and i like to build my own family of affiliates um something i don't really mention or talk about much on a series we've got dc united up in the mix see there you go that's a nice one to have we've got avelino and now we've got dc united a couple respectable teams there their logo is 
lean. Hey, listen, MLS teams have the best logos, hands down. Like, don't don't nobody at me about that. <clears throat> uh, then we've got Levantina. Uh, what are they in? Um, they're one star reputation. I doubt I'll ever use them. And obviously they're saying that the senior affiliate has first option on the affiliates club players, but I'm not gonna buy anyone from there. Like they're not gonna produce wonder kids. So do you know what I mean? Like it's a bit it's a bit pointless. Like look at how many affiliates we've got. Like it's completely un why are it's why are Italy so over the top with their shit? Like I'm not even talking about affiliates, yeah. I'm talking about like the, the academy as well, like the under 19s and the reserves. When you start a series with a with an Italian team and you go through their under 18s. It's literally like you could probably make four teams with it. It's that it's that ridiculous. This team looked like a basketball team. What's going on here? But they they're professional status, two and a half star. Um, it's more of a loan situation where I'll be able to send players on loan to them. So that's that's nice. Uh, same with this one. See, uh, partnerships like that, I don't really mind. I think DC United is more of a yeah uh, a merchandising benefit. So I'll, I'll, that's why I'm keeping that one. This can go. Look how many flipping affiliates! Oh my gosh! Um, yeah, I'm gonna get because I don't need that many. I, I really don't. I'm gonna keep that one of Savlaki. I can see it coming up in the mix because uh, they're obviously again. I don't really think I'll get much financial benefit from Savlaki, but our presence being in with Savlaki is gonna be nice. Professional status two and a half star. These are the affiliates you wanna have, man. Like like decent affiliates, like. If you sent your players there, they'd actually get game time and then actually put. Oh lord. Um, I'm gonna keep that one. I'm gonna keep that one. So we've got we've got four Italian affiliates, one Slovakian and one United States. I'm gonna ask to look for another one. Uh, welcome. What would you like to discuss today? Listen, don't come with all that greeting, high and all that excitement because I know you're just gonna reject what I'm offering, anyways. We should launch a search for an affiliate club to improve our scouting network's knowledge. Nope. We should seek an affiliation with a club which can provide us a chance to recruit foreign youngsters. Maybe. That might tinkle his balls a little bit. Pause. We should find an overseas partner to increase our profile in another country. That's the one. We, at, we see absolutely no... What you, what you mean? Um, even after that. The lack of ambition you are showing is very disappointing. That's why I said don't come with that high and green with the cheese and smile because I'm listen, he ain't budging at all. He wasn't budging at all. Anyway, I think there is good to leave for a um for an opening. Um if you've enjoyed the episode, make sure you leave a like. Um obviously let's you know try and hit a certain amount of likes, maybe ten likes to just to get the series out there on, on its debut. Uh, it mean a lot to me leave some comments down below as well obviously again as I mentioned if you want me to go over my staff and how I find stuff and all that nonsense then make sure you let me know in the comment section down below comment in the comment section down below I know sometimes I don't really reply in, but that's because sometimes I get a whole bunch of people sometimes talking in different languages and it's just a bit you know your boy don't really like speak them languages you know what I'm trying to say, but yeah, sometimes not. I'm be all jokes aside. Sometimes I do see the comments, but I hate I, for some reason I hate replying on my phone. Um, so I'm I'm when I eventually do get an iPad, that's when I'll be a lot more responsive in the comment section down below because I'm not always on my laptop. So yeah, uh, but anyway, as I said, leave comments, leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more FM content and for the series and for WWE 2K17 content if you're a fan of that. And uh, we've got more Justice 2's coming to pause. But anyway, I'm out. I'm rambling on. Take care of yourself. It's been a pleasure. It's been your boy Wolfie. And I'll see you for the next episode. Ciao.